Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Hopefully, uh, if all goes well, this will be the last part of MGS2, as we are we have come face to face with the big baddie himself, Solidus Snake. Last time we... Honestly, last time I don't think we had any gameplay, we just kind of watched a bit, very long cutscene, had a, like, a big lecture on truth and all that. Now, it is our time... Ooh, oh. For time to fight. Time to stand and fight. We only have a sword. Which again, like like a like I mentioned before. Uh, like, like I mentioned before, and the sword does have two sides to it. A lethal side, like the, the sharp side and the, the blunt side. And so like the other bosses, other than like, you know, the uh Metal Gear Rays, we actually can Not non-lethal solidus. Okay, but we need to be careful that we don't accidentally go oh, fail. Mm. To be careful that we don't actually like if you like if you notice there, I actually did a little bit of damage to him, I think because of I uh <laughs> like I said, I think that the stabbing does hurt him. Do it does seem to be taking a good bit of health off him. Play this like Dark Souls and just like just dive away all the time. Ow. Ow. Yep. Seem to be doing alright. Sort of. Right in the back. Nice. Oh, ow, ow. On fire, on fire, on fire. Burn it, burn it, burn it. Oh, stay away from the, the edge. You can fall off and can die. Oh no! Put me down, put me down! Trying to, trying to. Okay. We're gonna live, we're gonna live. What's wrong with you is what I wanna know. I think we can also hit him, like, we can actually just straight up punch him. Please, heal. No reason to just be on super low health. This. Oh, 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 what's going on? This is where it gets into Phase two. Oh man. <laughs> oh what? He threw it, threw away his arms. Anything? I, I, I'd say that's a good thing for us, but let's see how. Oh, let's see how. <laughs> what do you want now, Colonel? Seriously, you're just gonna add insult, injury. Yes, I know that. Last duty. We're not just pawns in some simulation game, you know. Yes, you are. <laughs> Nothing but mere weapons. No different from fighter jets or tanks. What the? The old model destroyed four years ago was Rex. The new amphibious model is Ray. Both of these are the same as the code names used by the U.S. Armed Forces to refer to Japanese warplanes during World War II. Your code name, Raiden, I wonder if that's true, actually. Japanese Navy's name for one of its interceptors. Stop it. I'm not a weapon. Oh, really? Do you know the code name the U.S. Armed Forces used for the Japanese fighter Raiden? It was Jack. Both of you are hmm. just weapons to be used and thrown away. Just weapons to be used on the battlefield. Just pawns in a game, exactly as you said. Like, the thing solid is just like stopping while, while we're talking here. It's time to fulfill your purpose. Defeat Solidus. Okay. I will defeat Solidus. Ow. <laughs> I say as I get hit upside the head. Ooh. 
Ow, 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 ow. No, get up, get up, stop, stop, get up, get up. Oh, that, could, that could have been very dangerous if I had fallen off. Oh. If I had fallen off. Yes. Yeah, we're actually doing very good. Like, I remember this and the, and the Ray fight. I remember giving me so much trouble the first time I played. Did I, just get, did I just get so much better or what? Oh wow, this is seriously... What a cakewalk. Oh, that's a... Uh, the camera really kind of messes with you. Duh. Just knock him unconscious. Another snake bites the dust. Now let's see if I can get anything. I think I wonder if I get like a rank for. So I'm pretty sure I did not kill anybody. <laughs> Rob Ryan certainly just did. My only worry is that I might have actually. I wonder if I did actually stab somebody. Earlier on. We're basically fighting, you know, top Federal Hall in New York City. Is he saying something? Good. And <laughs> still wearing the body armor. For just like, oh, I've always found kind of odd because I guess there were like police officers running. I guess that way. I guess, but who am I really? No one quite knows who or what they are. Yes, the police are going over there. The people just seem kind of walking down the street all willy nilly, not really too worried. There's no such thing in the world as absolute reality. Most of what they call real is actually fiction. What you think you see is only as real as your brain tells you it is. Then, what am I supposed to believe in? What am I going to leave behind when I'm through? We can tell other people about having faith. What we had faith in. What we found important enough to fight for. It's not whether you are right or wrong, but how much faith you were willing to have. That decides the future. I have faith in horses. The Patriots are a kind of ongoing fiction too, come to think of it. Listen, don't obsess over words so much. Find the meaning behind the words, then decide. You can find your own name. And your own future. Decide for myself? 
And whatever you choose will be you. I don't know if I can. I know you didn't have much in terms of choices this time. But everything you felt, thought about during this mission is yours. And what you decide to do with them is your choice. You mean start over? Really? Yeah. It's, a, it's a beautiful a message. Slate, a new name, new memories. Hmm. Choose your own legacy. It's for you to decide. It's up to you. By the way, what is that? Dog tags. Anyone you know? No. <laughs> Never heard the name before. It's kind of all like odd because I put liquid I'll as the name. name. And my own life. I'll find something worth passing on. They taught me some good things too. I know. We've inherited freedom from all those who fought for it. We all have the freedom to spread the word, even me. Snake, what about Olga's child? Don't worry, I'll find him. Count on it. As long as you keep yourself alive, he's safe. I think the police don't go after the, these two men just in body armor and a sneaking suit. Do you know where Liquid went? I put a transmitter on his ray. Did he head for the Patriots? Yeah, but I have a feeling they gave Ocelot a bogus location to begin with. Hmm. Cheer up, we have a better lead. This contains the list of all the Patriots. But Ocelot took it. The one we gave you wasn't the real thing. What? This virus is coded to destroy only a specific part of GW, namely the information about the Patriot's identity. Which means that there's a parameter coded in here that defines what that information is. I get it. Analyze the code and you can probably find out where they operate. Count me in. No, you have things to do first. And people you need to talk to. We have a little camera over there. Ooh. Off the distance. Hey there. Is it really you? Never tell me anything about you. Aren't we? Oh. <laughs> yeah. See me for what I am, okay? I know. Do you remember this place? Of course. This is where we first met. I remember now. Hmm? Today is the day I met you. <laughs> That's it. I 
think I found something to pass along to the future. What? He said all living things want their genes to live on. Are you talking about the baby? Yeah. The genes aren't the only thing you pass on. There are too many things that aren't written into our DNA. It's up to us to teach that to our children. What kind of things? About the environment, our ideas, our culture, poetry, compassion, sorrow, joy. We'll tell them everything together. Is that a proposal? This is for your ears only. The guy in front of it, is he like posing? Like, yeah, like he's gonna do like the same pose as Washington. I wonder where, the, where they got this footage from. Like, I wonder if like people from Konami actually went to America or just like some sort of stock footage. Well, folks, that's Metal Gear Solid 2. What a game. That's. Man, I got oh man, I got tears coming. Man, what a game! It's such a perfect like, you know, if you want to like talk about like video video games as art or some of that, like seriously, oh so 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 beautiful. I love it. You know, I, I try not to really get too much into mo too much discussion like discussion or like analysis of like like I said um character loyalty in or like all the organizations and stuff like that because like honestly that type of stuff just go, kind of goes over my head but Man, and the song too is really good it's all those little details like when you run upstairs you actually get the little animation of like people's feet kind of going on the stairs which I'm not even sure if games today like really do that that much which you, you could say you, know, you could argue it's really kind of superficial but stuff like that like freaking I found out I'm pretty sure if you destroy a cypher it'll actually crash like and, and look at the um, water below it like on Big Shell the water below it will actually ripple like and it's such a little small effect but it's like so there's little details like that. And of course, there's the story I just feel is just tackle subjects that video, video games just don't really do it. Like, it, it, like video games or even movies, really, I feel don't like really tackle that much. I mean, it does it head on without really trying to be too subtle about it. Which you could, you could say, say is like a bad thing, but <laughs> I thought it was a great, great game. But yeah, I will. Okay, next up, I might try. Might try MGS3 at some point, or uh, at some point I probably I will definitely get to MGS3. But I'm also Ghost Babble. I'm not sure. I I do actually want to look want to look into Ghost Babble because I've heard that it's a good game. In the you know, for 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 Metal Gear fans. Like like I, I mentioned before, but. MGS3 really is not my... I enjoy MGS3 and I think it's a great game. I, I, I enjoy the gameplay of it, but this, the story and setting of MGS3 I just don't really care too much for. And when I say setting, I mean more the um, the time period rather than the actual... Like, the, the jungle I think is cool, but... It's the whole... I just don't really care too much about the Cold War setting and just the whole political aspect of, of it all like obviously this this game too is also political but just I'm just three just all this constantly KJB 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 and all that, all that stuff like if I were to like rank like the first four games, it might be like 
one, two, four, three. Especially just, you know, not only was this just an incredible game, like even now, but just when you consider that this came out in like 2000 or 2001, that's so crazy. Real life footage photographer Rui Naito. I'm not sure that. I wonder if that includes um, actual like the uh, the footage. Hope the poster models. <laughs> International coordination, Scott Dolph. The heck? Additional translation, Scott Dolph. What the heck? Wait, oh, was he, was he a real fellow? They, they just put his name in the game. Even credit it, crediting the fonts. I feel like I don't really pay too much attention to like credits that much, but uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if I've ever seen a, a font credited for that. Aaron Kiefer Davis. Com. I would wonder what that redirects to now. It's probably some weird pachinko thing or something. And oh, I was also wondering if it was going to stop on Hideo Kojima. Oh, there we go. It's one too early. Life isn't just about passing on your genes. We can leave behind much more than just DNA. Through speech, music, literature, and movies, what video games seen, heard, felt, anger, joy, and sorrow. These are the things I will pass on. That's what I live for. We need to pass the torch and let our children read our messy and sad history by its light. What a nice sculpture. We have all the magic of the digital age to do that with. The human race will probably come to an end sometime, and new species may rule over this planet. Earth may not be forever, but we still have the responsibility to leave what traces of life we can. Building the future and keeping the past alive are one and the same thing. I wonder what happened to that squirrel that it briefly showed. The squirrel that appeared in MGS2. What happened to him?
Murder Soul 2 Sons of Liberty. Snake, you there? It's me. I've finished going over that disc. Did you find the Patriot's list? Of course. It contains the personal data of 12 people. There was a name on it. Snake, it was one of our biggest contributors. What's going on around here? I don't know. Anyway, where are they? Well, we were right about them being on Manhattan, but... But what? They're already dead. All 12 of them. When did it happen? Well, uh... About a hundred years ago. What the hell? Well, folks, that's the that's your cliffhanger for for this game. Nice. What persons three killed? Oh, what? I wonder what that counts. I w I wonder if it if it did if it. I wonder if I did end up killing I guess some people with a sword. Three killed. It had to be people with a sword, because that's the only time I ever would have... Hold on, my controller... my controller went off again. Alert mode 60 times, continue 39 times. 44 rations. Man, that's really... that's a bummer that I got three kills. Elephant. Cut a bow, what's... I don't know what that's about. I wonder, can, I, can I look at my... I'm not sure if I can actually look at my trophies. Okay. Cut a bow, what the heck? <laughs> send, uh, send Otacon a picture of the marine with no pants. That was a thing um, in, the, in the tanker... Ch chapter. Beat the tanker... Oh, that's not, not that great at all. Clear the game without entering alert mode. Not including events where alert mode is, is, is mandatory. Watch Rose kill Raiden on a rooftop. I wonder what that's about. I'm gonna, I'll look that up later on. Lo huh. I have no idea what that is. And they're, they're, they're these wigs, I can't remember how you get the wigs. But like you, can get, you can get like different wigs for for riding. Get the plant stealth suit. Like there's just so much stuff that uh, I really don't, that I, I'm just really not too much. Like a lot of the, 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 the Easter eggs and secret stuff in this game I'm not too keen on. I'm just familiar with. Hear Johnny's bell bowel noises in two locations. What this is referring to I believe is um oh, this is, I'm not sure if I'm thinking of the right thing, but um there's a bit where um when Emma is crossing the crossing that uh walkway thing, you can actually put point a um directional microphone at her when she's like at some sort of um when she's crossing over one of the platforms and she'll actually meet like a Johnny the uh, fellow from the first game who's got like diarrhea, diarrhea problems. Put it in, oh, I, did, I, I never put an enemy in a locker. Huh. Catch a glimpse of Vamp in the streets of New York during the end cinematic. That's something I, um, in the end, in the end cutscene, uh, Vamp is actually standing or whatever. Uh, I guess like you have to zoom in on him to get that cutscene. Like if you feel, I'm pretty sure if you go back and look at it, you can probably see him if you look close enough. He's a, he's a huh? Disor disorient an enemy with a cloud of smoke from a fire extinguisher, which uh, I think we did. We get we did get the uh, fire extinguisher talk a couple times, but we never actually used it and destroy 15 cameras. The digital camera, you can now use it in the tanker episode. You can now use it in the plant episode. Well then. Is it, I wonder if it's just going to put us back to the menu now. 
Bombala, bombala. Yep. But that's been Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 2, folks. It's been a long time in the making because, you know, I started MGS1 in 2011. So, <laughs> it's, it's, been, it's been a while. Hopefully uh, the time between MGS3, this and MGS3 will not be nearly as long. But, but um, there will be more stuff in between in between that. So, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Ooh, let's, um... But, uh, some secret stuff. Um, now, originally the game was a uh, Metal Gear Solid subs like the um. I'm not sure if we get everything. I believe that some co some content has been cut out for the um HD collection. Like there was originally like a skateboarding mini game that I don't think you can do anymore. Now this here, Snake Tales. I might do something with this like later on. Like this is like almost like a weird, it's like, a, like bonus levels like. If you don't have any cutscenes or anything, there's have like, this text. This I might, like I said, I might look at, at some other point. But um, for now I think I'm just gonna take a brief look at it and then. Nothing here. Call it, but this could be kind of cool. Like if I have a a rainy day or something, I'll I'll think about recording some of this. So I believe that some of these um scenarios do actually have some pretty neat things. Not, now, I, now actually, now I think of it. Or, or, or we're actually empty of, of, on our ammo. Okay, I try to like hold him up, but I guess I, I wonder like if he if he could tell that I didn't have any ammo in my gun. I try to kind of like bluff it. I wonder where we are actually. Is this um? Is this even a location that exists in the game? Is it? F. Okay. I'm now heading towards strut B. Oh, so we want to get to okay. So we want to get to B. So, I, right, so let's see if I can get here quickly. Oh, what? No. Oh, I didn't even see that fellow down there. I'm just gonna run as fast as I can. What? <laughs> Fail. I'm gonna get to A, B. I gotta use the end note here in order. I know that there's really a point to it. Oh man, I'll try to just run, just run. It's actually kind of, kind of, kind of weird being Snake in the big shell, because you, know, you get like, the weird story stuff.
I'll skim through it right now and I believe they're, 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 huh. I believe the, there are certain things in this that provide unique gameplay stuff. Like there might be like certain bosses or something like that that you fight. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Well, we'll probably. Head strut D to get the shell two. Huh. Let's we'll play a little longer and let's call it there. And that's what I call it. And you want to you, you want you want to tell me that I got three kills? I'll, I'll give you your, your three kills. Yeah, I'm just gonna call call there, folks. Like, uh, I've just chosen one that's not entirely that interesting. Ooh, can I not? Oh, I can cancel. I thought it was dying or something. Let's see if I just die. Because there was another option, which was um, missions, which I believe that's, that's just like kind of VR missions for like training and whatnot. Mission failed. Professional mail is there, something I'm say. Transferring. This is like some weird thing that Konami had. That's like. Yeah, for trans transferring saves between PS3 and Vita. Special. Previous story, I think that's a... Huh. Yeah, the, the uh, darkness of Shadow Moses. It's like the thing that, that Nastasha Romanenko wrote. Free to read it. <laughs> or there's even more. The shocking conspiracy behind Shadow Moses. Yeah, I believe it's stuff like this that like it might uh it might be written that uh like Ames was like in a relationship with Naomi and stuff like that. Oh, this is 129 pages? What the e Oh my gosh, that's... That's crazy. <laughs> Might look at that at some point. <laughs> like, it. wow. Dog tag viewer. Is there really any point of this? Like... Look at all the, the weird names that you got. I believe some of these um dog tags were actually like... Peter Stillman, that's the only dog tag we got? They were actually like, fanned, like like fans sent them in. Samuel B. Sa Sandoval, Ronan Kim. Hmm. Basic actions. So controls. Lost survival. So it could be interesting. Casting theater. I think this here is actually just like weird. Demo. I guess just. What? Oh, this here is um actually oh, okay. So it's that you can watch cutscenes. It's that you can watch certain cutscenes, but um, you get to like choose who. 
Wait, can I? I have em Emmerich. That's a rose. Ocelot versus a rose. It was, um, Raiden Ninja. What's Raiden Ninja? Let's see what this is all about. I was like, oh, what? What the heck? Oh my. <laughs> Was right. It's right in wearing the ninja suit from MGS One. From the Great Great Pocket suit. Oh my gosh! What the heck? Oh, you can see like a. She's kind of like. Hovering in the air, just like you know, obviously she wasn't quite. Her model wasn't <laughs> made for this. Rose. Oh my gosh. Gosh. The crazy thing. Probably. Yes, it. Okay. Yeah, Ocelot 1998, Soldier High Tech Gear, Snake Tuxedo, Snake MGS1. What's the difference between Snake MGS1 and Snake 1998? If I had to guess, it's maybe MGS1 is just like, it's modern graphics, but wearing the MGS1 suit, whereas the. It, 1998 is just straight up the original graphics. Heck. Oh, yeah, let's. Oh my gosh. That's so crazy. Yeah, that's just to. Uh... You just get like a little. See, oh wait, actually, not not one other one. There's one other thing here. Yeah, if you look at you notice the the Meryl appears here. Yeah, let's do um. Just to, just to make it real sadistic, right? Let's do s snake. Meryl. The snake MGS1. What? Lady Middle Age? Like, some, some weird stuff. Snake MGS1. Meryl. And so they basically have to like remodel Meryl, like just. It might be used. I'm not sure why. I'm trying to think of like what this Meryl model is used for. Like other than just this weird cutscene thing. That's the gist of that. <laughs> Bob. 
boss survival. Fight a snake, fight a Raiden. Let's really see what what else we got though. The snake tails. Missions. This is just nothing really too too exciting. Just just little VR missions. Oh yeah, liquid. Okay, okay, okay. No, alternative missions. Yeah, just a little challenges and whatnot, like bomb disposal mode. Just do a bomb disposal mode. Then I might finish off with the the boss survival. I, I am curious. I am curious to see. Like, I probably will like maybe I'll do a little playthrough of some of the snake tails at some point though. Yeah, gotta find two bombs. What to say? The sound the bombs make may give a what? Is this a this little huh? Oh. We got a lot of bullets. Here we are. Did I, did I hit him? Type of thing. I might like do like a play through on my own or something. This could, this could be cool. Like, like uh, I could see it like in the later levels, like it could get kind of challenging. President. Let's uh, exit out of that. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. And last but not least. Oh. oh okay. Last but not least, the boss survival. Okay. I'm not really sure. Like, I know this is probably some sort of boss survival, as you would, call, as you would say, but it's just tr straight up. Ready? Oh. Okay, so it's just in the, in the same 
Okay. Let's just see how many you can get through or something. Oh, hello. I've been with the unit since I was born. I grew up on the battlefield. And victory were my parents. The unit. A lot of people growing up on battlefields in Metal Gear. I'm not like trying too hard here, I'm just gonna... You cover out of here. Cocky. Ow. Nice. This is next up. Okay, uh, I'm assuming this, this next up is just what, soldiers. Oh wow. You know, like, without healing or anything. My bullets ration. And I'll actually give you some stuff. Now we can just fire to the wind without. Who needs all this non lethal stuff? Hmm. Sneaky. This is not, does not seem that difficult. Or it's like having your rations is kind of difficult now, but. Do I even need to. Wait, there, there are bombs. Okay. That's probably actually the part that's gonna mess me up the most is the, even the bombs. Out of ammo. What? Twenty seconds. What are you talking about? Bombs. I'm 
Oh, did you just fly off? What? Wrong fella. Tempo just let him kill me, honestly, because we kind of, think we kind of get the gist of what this is. He's breathing. The heavy breathing. Claymores, I'm not sure. Claymores could be an interesting way to do this. I did not ask for anything, man. Hey, look, he'll... Uh, I think he activated a thing more, but it barely did anything. I'm not sure. Oh, there, oh, there it is. Hey, where'd you go? Ow! Yeah. From the bird, eh? I got like a, a first actual hit on him. <laughs> These bombs are lazy, man. There's a, there's a bomb right there. Yeah, we need to hurt the radar. Too soon. Oh. So it seems like the uh, clean wars are mainly just to kind of knock him down so you can actually hit him, hit his head. Where is he? Oh no, look at that. Yeah, with the amount of like... I feel like it's actually... This is really not that difficult of a thing. Six shots left. Oh, speak too soon. Oh, oh, 
My own, my own worst enemy. It's from my own trap. I think I'm gonna try to kill him. Nice. Okay. Ready? Now the Harrier. I'm just going to call it. I'm just going to call it there, folks, because kind of get get the gist of what this is. That's an interesting little thing. Like especially on the harder difficulties, I think it could be cool. I guess. <laughs> but that's been let's play Metal Gear Solid 2, folks. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. Like it's a it's very very dear game to me. I love it. You know, in the future, we might look at Snake Tales. Which is just a very crazy thing. But, uh, till then, and uh, till the next Let's Play, look it out. Hope you enjoyed.